Hey friends, it's Kristen, also known as Vine, here on my YouTube channel, and today I am gonna show you how to make a bobble that pops. And as you can see, I have a swatch here with some bobbles already happening, and if I turn it ever so slightly, you can see that these bobbles really pop away from the fabric. And if you're new to bobble making or have made bobbles in the past, you might have noticed that they have a tendency to wanna to sink back into the fabric after you've made them. And I'm gonna show you this really cool technique that's out there that will really help them pop away from the fabric, giving it that really cool uh, 3D effect. And yeah, so let's get started. So I'm gonna demonstrate this using the uh, English method. So knitting with my right hand, but the same rules apply if you are a continental knitter or knit with your left hand, uh, just follow the same exact steps. Uh, so I'm gonna knit to the stitch that we are going to make the bobble on. I went one too far. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a bobble on this stitch. And to do that, we are going to knit, we're going to create five stitches out of one stitch. So I'm gonna insert my right needle into the next stitch as if to knit, and I'm gonna knit that stitch, but I'm not gonna lift it off the left needle yet. So right now you, you'll notice that it's in the purl position. So I'm just gonna purl into that stitch now and not lift this stitch up off the left needle still. So I'm just gonna knit that stitch again. So now we have, you can see we already have three stitches happening, but I want five. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have five stitches. So we're gonna end on a knit stitch. And once I have those five stitches on the right needle, we can just go ahead and lift that stitch off the left needle. So now our bobble stitch has those five new stitches knit into that one stitch. And now instead of continuing to knit, we are going to turn our work because we have to make our bobble. Um, and then we are going to slip the first stitch as if to purl, because we're on the purl side. And we're just gonna purl those stitches. One, so the first, so we're gonna slip the first stitch, that counts as one stitch. And then we're gonna purl two three, four, five. So now we've purled five stitches. We're gonna turn our work again, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to slip the first stitch as if to knit, because we're on the knit side. I'm going to knit the second stitch, knit the third stitch, fourth stitch, and fifth stitch. So now we've knit one row, we've purled one row, we've knit another row, and doing the going back and forth, turning your work is going to give that bobble the body, the, this you know extra fabric that's inside this one bobble. Um, so now we've knit the right side again. We're going to turn our work again, uh, and same as before, we're going to slip the first stitch as if to purl because we're on the wrong side, purl side, and then instead of purling, we're going to purl the next stitch together because we're going to decrease. So we're going to purl these next two stitches together and then we're going to purl the next two stitches together. So we've decreased, oops, see it's a little, little, it can get a little fiddly but be patient. Um, so yeah, now we've decreased our five stitches to three stitches because we've slipped that, that stitch, purl two together, purl two together, turn our work again, and now we're going to decrease again. We're just gonna slip that first stitch, and then we're gonna double decrease by knitting the next two stitches together. And then we're gonna pass that slip stitch over. So now we have our bobble. But instead of just going right on to the next stitch, this is the technique that will make your bobble pop. So you wanna bring your yarn to the front of your work as such. And then you're gonna want to slip the bobble stitch onto your left needle. So now you are going to hug the very base. You're gonna wrap a shawl around the base of the bobble like so. So you see your working yarn is going underneath that bobble and then you're gonna bring the yarn to the back of your work again. And then you're gonna slip that stitch back onto your right needle so you see that the yarn is still hugging underneath the chinny chin of your bobble. And then you're going to proceed to choke your bobble. I'm sorry, there's no better way to explain it, but yeah, you're gonna have to choke the bobble. Uh, and then hold it taut 
and then knit the next stitch. And then you have a beautiful bobble that is protruding from your fabric. Uh, no, it's not gonna sink back into your fabric. It's gonna stick out and be a beautiful bobble on its own without the help of reinforcing or anything of that kind of nature. So you're gonna keep knitting to the next bobble stitch. Um, just coming up. Okay, one more time in a swifter motion. So insert the needle, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Now we have our five stitches. We're gonna turn our work. Now we're on the wrong side. We're going to slip that stitch. We're going to purl one, two, three, four. Turn our work again. Slip the first stitch as if to knit. One, no, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna turn our work again, but this time we're gonna decrease on this row. So we're gonna slip, purl two together. Turn our work again. Slip that stitch, first stitch, knit two stitches together. and pass that slip stitch over. So now we have a bobble. And now we are going to bring our yarn to the front. Slip the bobble stitch back onto the left needle. Wrap a shawl around the bobble's neck. Slip that stitch back onto the right needle and choke your bobble. <laughs> Uh, and then you're ready to go on to the next bobble. And that, my friends, is how you make a bobble that pops. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out a video every Friday for your viewing pleasure. And until then, I will see you next time. Happy knitting and happy bobbling. Bye!